Hello, wonderful people of the internet. I'm so sorry that I didn't upload a video on Sunday, but it was my mum's 50th birthday and I didn't want to miss a second of it. So today I've got a bookshelf tour for you. So let's get okay, started. So this is my bookshelf. You might notice that there are pop vinyls across the top shelves, but we won't be showing those because this is a book channel, not a pop vinyl channel. Okay, so I've put my books in alphabetical order. So here I've got the two Dirt Gently's Holistic Detective Agency um, stories by Douglas Ad Adams. Here we've got a Balrog. Here I've got the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, also by Douglas Adams. Here I've got Watership Down by Richard Adams. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Skellig by David Ormond. T the Taylor Turbo Chaser by David Baddiel. The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. The Darkest Mind series by Alexandra Bracken. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, Wuthering Heights by Charlotte Bronte, Cogheart by Peter Bunzel, The Secret Garden by, by Francis Hodgson Burnett, sorry if I didn't say that right, Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow, The Hunger Games by Suzanne, Suzanne Collins, and the prequel novel the, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, also by Suzanne Collins, P Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi and Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. On the shelf below, we have got The Origin Species and Voyage of the Beagle by Charles Darwin, the Maze Runner series, including the prequels by James Dashner, Legend Born by Tracy Dion, Charles, uh, Charles Dickens, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, The Treasury of World Masterpieces Sherlock Holmes Collection. This is by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and it's a beautiful book. Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot. This is the book that inspired the Cats musical. The Neverending Story by Michael End. Momo by Michael End. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. The Graveyard Book, also by Neil Gaiman. And one of my personal favourites, Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. I really, really recommend this. It's hilarious. The Adventures of Robin Hood. I can't remember who this is by because it's on the inside cover. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Gra Graham. I believe that's how you say it anyway. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table by Roger Lancelin Green. I enjoyed this one actually quite a lot. I tend not to like classics, but this this was different for me. The Books of Earthsea by Ursula Clay K. Le Guin. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. The Gar of Ink and Stars by Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Dune, by Frank Herbert. There's a movie of this coming out soon, which I'm extremely excited for. The House Moving Castle Trilogy, by Deanna Wan Jones. On the next shelf, we've got the first three books in the Wheel of Time series, by Robert Jordan. Jordan. All of my Stephen King books. We've got On Writing, Misery, Salem's Lot, The Shining, Doctor Sleep, The Institute, The Running Man, and it. I've also got the Shawshank Redemption, but I've lent that to my dad so that he can read it. Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy, followed by the first saga, I believe, of Skullduggery Pleasant. So that's books one to nine. Then, back up here, we've got the complete fiction of H.P. Lovecraft. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. This is one of my favourite books as well. Absolutely fantastic. One, the One of Us is Lying series, plus The Cousins, by Karen M. McManus. I, this, I've only read this one, but that had a real twist to it, and I really enjoyed it. The Twilight series. I didn't enjoy these much. They're by, they're by Stephanie Meyer, by the way. Mayer. And they're actually the only romance books that I've read, or actually at least can remember reading. Please note that I haven't read every book on my, on my shelves. So if there are a few romance books, I haven't read them. These are the only ones so far. Paradise Lost by John Milton. The My Neighbor Totoro novelization by, I'm so sorry if I say these wrong, Hayao Miyazaki and Sugiko Kubo. The first book in the Sheriff series called The Recruit by Robert Muchamore. Muchamore. The Railway Tr Children by Edith Nesbitt and Five Children in It, also by Edith Nesbitt. And we've got the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. A Monster Course by Patrick Ness. And 1984 and Animal Farm by George Orwell. Then we've got Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Wonder by R.J. P 
Palacio, the first three books in the Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. I'm missing the final one. The the Death series of Discworld by Terry Pratchett, along with Guard Guards, Guards Guards even, and Small Gods. And then we've got, I, I've mentioned that I really enjoyed these. I recommend these as well. They're a lot like Good Omens, probably because they're, they're written by Terry Pratchett. So if you read Good Omens and you like that, read these. Conversely, if you read these and enjoyed them, read Good Omens. His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman and the prequel and sequel. These are smashing books. Yeah, I really recommend reading them. These are two add-on novels. This one's a sequel. This one's also a sequel. Wait. Yes, I think this is a sequel. I can't remember. I read it quite a while ago, but I recommend these as well. Then we've got what used to be my favourite series of all time, the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series by Ransom Ricks. Now, I recommend these to sort of younger readers, less experienced readers, but for me, when, um, I reread them after reading quite a few books, and I didn't enjoy them. But when I was less experienced, I did. So that's how I recommend them too. I've got the graphic novelization of the first Miss Peregrine book. The, oh, what are these called? More, Mortal Engine series by Philip Reeve, along with, I don't know whether these are a prequel or a sequel, the add-on series to them, also by Philip Reeve. We've got the Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus books by Rick Riordan. I have read the original Percy Jackson series and really enjoyed them, but I took them from my school library, so I haven't got them on my shelves. The Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. And four, a Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. Then I've got Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I still love these books, even though I haven't read them for quite a while. They're, they're amazing, as I'm sure you know. They're very famous. And so I checked comic relief books. That's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Quidditch Through the Ages, and The Tales of Beedle the Bard. Those are good as well. They're nice little things to add on if you're a fan. Up here, I have the Ichabog by J.K. Rowling. The String, the String of Pearls, which is the inspiration for the, the Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, one of my favourite musicals of all time, by James Malcolm Rymer. This was a Penny Dreadful, which means it was released and serialised in the eight, 19th century. Hawes by Louis Sacker. The Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in a series called The Cosmere. Oh, what's it called? I Storm My Archive. That's it. Storm My Archive. And I've got Hugo by Brian Selznick. And the Hugo, Hugo movie Companion, also by Selznick. And I've got the first book in a Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. And Black Beauty. I don't know who that's written by because the name is in the cover. William Shakespeare's Complete Works by Shakespeare, of course. The Ark of Scythe. I've only read the first one, but this has got to be one of my favourite dystopians that I've read. It's by Neil Schusterman, and I highly recommend these. John Steinbeck's Mice of Mice and Men. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Treasure Island, who I don't know who that's by, because it's also on the inside cover. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Battle Royale by... Oh my gosh, sorry if I said this wrong wrong. Kaushin Takami. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Oh, the lighting's awful down here, please forgive that. By Liney Taylor. The Goldfish Boy by Lisa Thompson. Queen's Gambit by Walter Trevis. The Netflix series of this is really good. I recommend that. The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings by, by J.R.R. Tolkien. These are all-time classics. And while you might not enjoy the books, at least watch the movies. I love... Um, I really... I love these. Um, I haven't got the Silmarillion, which is like the Bible for the fantasy world in this, but I plan on getting that at some point. Pan's Labyrinth by Guillermo del Toro and Cornelia Funk. There was um, a movie of this, and this is the novelization, but it doesn't read like a novelization. Then you've got the Mary Poppins series by P.L. Travers. I've only read the first two of this, but they're feel-good books, and I really like them. Then we've got The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Journey to the Centre of the Earth by Jules Verne. And H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. This is carried on over here with The Island of Dr. Moreau, also by H.G. Wells, and one of my favourite books, The War of the Worlds, by H.G. Wells. We've got Tark of the Otter by Henry Williamson. Histories of the Unexpected by Sam Willi 
Willis and D James Daybell. Who Framed Roger Rabbit by Gary Wolfe. The Day at the Triffids by John Wynnum. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. And a few comics here I have got. Actually, I've got this one. This is uh, Michael Foreman's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This book's too big to stand up, so I put it here along with two of the Simpsons comic compendiums, um, a Godzilla comic series, and the first book in the Umbrella Academy ser um, comic series. I the <laughs> yeah, Again, the Netflix series of the Umbrella Academy is really good, arguably better than the comics, so give the Netflix series a try. And then we go on to a manga section. I've got all of the Attack on Titan books, minus the last one because it's not been released yet. The first assassin assassination classroom book. I'm not going to read out the names for these. Is that wrong? I don't want to. I don't want to get them wrong. Actually, I'll do my best. Hajime Isayama wrote Attack on Titan, and Yusei Matsui wrote assassin Assassination Classroom. And I've got the first five books in My Hero Academia by Koshe Horikoshi. The prom f first five books in the no Promised Neverland series by Keiyu Shirei and Posuka Dimizu. Um, you can tell that I like to get the first five books in a series to test it out. One Punch Man, volumes one to three by One and Yusuke, Yus Yusuke Murata. Shiver by Junji Ito. This guy's a master of horror. Very, very creepy stuff. One of my fav one of my favourite series, The Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromo Hiromu Arakawa. This is an excellent fantasy series and actually made me cry at some points, as did Attack on Titan. And not a lot of books have done that to me. So hats off to <laughs> hats off to Attack on Titan and Full Metal Alchemist. Then here I've got Uzumaki by Junji Ito. And the first four Death Note books by let me just move Godzilla. Tsugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata. And that, those, let me, um, let me correct myself there, are my bookshelves. Oh my god, I forgot about One Piece. So this is by Aichiro Oda, and this is the first saga. There are over 100 books in this series, and there's no way that I'm going to be able to afford that. So this is all I've got. Hi, sorry, I nearly missed out these three books down here. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which I'm sure you know that I hate by now. Well, I hate's a strong word. I strongly dislike it. Becoming a Writer by Dorothea Brande. And Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I haven't read these two, but I've DNF'd that one. In my cupboard, I've got a few miscellaneous books. I've got um, David Baddiel's Any Malcolm. The Fantastic... Beasts screenplays, The Secret Horses of Briar Hill by Megan Shepherd, a former alchemist book called The Ties That Bind by Makoto in Inoue and based on Hiromu Arakawa's series. I didn't like this and I actually DNF'd it just because the writing wasn't of the best quality and some of the characters weren't what they were in the original series. Here I've got volumes one to three of Full Metal Alchemist and a cop volume four which was actually had the pages printed in the wrong order so I had to I had to get a new one. And this one's in here now. I've got a German version of Volume 2 of The Promised Neverland. Because being the numpty that I am, I ordered German versions instead of English versions. Because they were all out of date. Uh, no, uh, sold out and I was desperate and didn't read properly. The first copy of Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. I got the collection and I already had this one. So I, this one's in here. It by Stephen King. This one's got smaller prints. And while I prefer the cover, I've got the movie edition on my shelves just because... It's it's easier to read and easier to access for me. And here I've got the Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. I don't know why these are in here, to be honest. I'll put them on my shelves when, um, at some point. I'm quite lazy, so, you know, and I don't like having to move across all my books to put them in the right alphabetical order. So I'll get to this at some point, but it's in here at the moment. See, here we have a few on my bedside table. We have The Peregrine by J.A. Baker. Um, I love Peregrine Falcons, and a friend of these got, um, a friend of mine got this for me, which was very nice of them. And then The Wenan by Agatha Christie, one of my favourite books. And Gerald's Great Game by Stephen King. My granddad got that for me, and I don't think he knew what it was about. I won't tell you if you don't know, because you don't need that in your life, but, um, I'm not allowed to read that at the moment. So that 
to conclude is all of my books. So those are my bookshelves. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Sorry for the poor video quality and the shaking, shaky handling of the camera. I'm not a professional and I've literally only got my iPhone, so, you know, be easy on me, please. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And that's me. Have a good one, y'all.